Why is Chris Hemsworth taking time off from his acting career? Well, he was told in his new show, Limitless, that he inherited a risk factor for late onset Alzheimer's disease. Let's talk about this. Everyone has two copies of the APOE gene, one from each parent. And this gene comes in three forms called alleles, APOE2, 3, and 4. The APOE4 allele has been linked to an increased risk of late onset Alzheimer's, but many people who have one or two copies of it never develop the disease. And this is because there are other factors associated with Alzheimer's disease risk, including sex, lack of activity, vascular problems, tobacco use, head trauma, obesity, and many other factors that we've yet to learn about. Most people have a 10 to 12% lifetime risk of developing late onset Alzheimer's disease. Those with a single copy of the APO4 allele have about a 20 to 25% lifetime risk. Having two copies may increase the risk of up to about 40% over the lifetime. This is still a 60% chance of not developing it. There are early onset forms of Alzheimer's disease that are strongly associated with more rare genetic changes. If you're worried about your risk for this, see a genetics professional for medical grade testing. This is an example of how a seemingly simple genetic test has the potential to provide information that could change your life trajectory. But this is why having a provider who's trained not just in the science, but in the psychology of delivering this information and providing emotional support is so incredibly important. Genetic counselors are uniquely qualified to do this, as well as to make sure the appropriate test is ordered. To find one, visit findageneticcounselor.com or send me a DM.